Welcome to the testing word. So now in this session, we are going to create project structure for the BDD automation. I'm assuming that we are going to automate Facebook login functionality. And also I assume that you have good knowledge of Selenium WebDriver because these are the prerequisite to start working on the BDD frame. If we have a good understanding of the WebDriver automation, then we can go for the framework. So we are taking it as a prerequisite. If you are not aware about Selenium automation, I would request you, you can take our course Selenium with Java and that's going to help you to take yourself from the basic to expert level. You can contact me for the more for more details. Now, as we know in a web driver to work on a web driver, we need to maintain our driver exe file. So now I'm going to maintain our driver exe file and a config data into the property file. So I'm just moving and here I'm just closing this pom.xml and first of all I'm creating a folder with the name driver inside this project and in this folder I'll maintain my all the exe file. It could be Geeko driver, it could be Chrome driver, it could be iDriver as I assume that you have the knowledge where from where we can download these files I have already downloaded that I'm just going to the downloaded location that's my location I just copied it and pasted in this driver folder in the same way for running test case on Firefox we need Geeko driver so I'm going to the Geeko driver copying this exe and pasted over here so I am going to maintain are all driver files here in this driver folder and this driver folder exists inside the project so that is one step that we have performed next step is I'm going to maintain all the data configurable data in a property file so what do you mean by configurable data means which browser you want to execute your test case that is one what will be the URL of your application that is two in the same way we can what is the username or a password you you want to use in your test case that is three so whatever the data you want to config to set in the configuration whatever the data you want to set at the runtime or before the execution so that if I'm executing my test suite so I can give my username password as somebody else is executing the test case he can use his username and password so that data we are going to make it configurable anybody can change it for making it configurable I'm coming because here in the SRC test Java we are going to create our test cases we have discussed that in the previous session so I'm coming here and I'm right clicking on that creating a new file you can give any name I'm giving config extension must always be properties so I said properties over here so if you notice a config dot property file is created as I assume that you have the knowledge of how to set the values on the on the property file but still I'm going to explain it I can give a summary of it so in config file whatever the data which is configurable you can place it if you want to make any comment in this file you can use hash so I'm using hash this is for project configuration and whatever the data you want to place it you can place it like I want to set application URL so I'm just using application URL and what is the value we are going to do Facebook automation so my URL will be HTTPS www.facebook.com few things that need to be noticed over here this variable name could be anything you can use a b c but here to make it more understandable I'm using a meaningful name this is called key and this is called value so key and value one more thing that I need that we need to consider in this file there should not be any extra space sometimes for the formatting we are writing like this no we should not have any extra space in this file next sometimes we are giving a string in the double quotes 
Actually, we use double quotes only when, when we are working on a Java. This is not a Java file, so we need not to use double quotes over here. So I set first configuration, which is application URL. I'm setting browser, which browser you want to use for the execution. So I am giving Chrome. What is the username? I'm setting username is equal to hello123. You can do anything. And the password is equal to ABCD. So whatever the data you want to configure that could change with on every execution, we can place the data into the config file. So my config file is ready. As of now, we have few data. You can maintain any number of data over here. Hello all. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please ask in the comment section. And also, please like and subscribe for more software testing courses. Also, we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in $200. Find us on Facebook for more offers and updates. Here is the URL, facebook.com, testing word, India.